Cause we're differently abled Differently Welcome back and you're watching Abled Differently. Josephine Mwende has dedicated her time on creating awareness on cerebral palsy and other disabilities through her lived experience. Take a look at that story. Josephine is the founder of Able Rise Africa Society, an organization that helps in creating awareness on cerebral palsy and other disabilities. This initiative came to my mind when after I went to do what I went to do, and I thought, why should I just come out and speak about these things out here? We just see maybe the doctors are not aware of us, or maybe they, they don't know if a person with a disability can be a parent to just mm, end those kind of discrimination. I thought it is a nice idea for me to come up with such, a, such an organization for me to create that awareness and make sure that uh, maybe in near future that nobody else will go through what they want to do. So I started this online campaign it's like three months ago whereby my title was uh, Equal Health Rights for All. Women with cerebral palsy can be mothers too. She was born with a condition known as cerebral palsy and being the firstborn, this was a huge challenge to her mother. I was born with this condition and being the first born in a family of four, you can, you can just imagine how hard it could be for, for the first parents having a special kid, something that they are, they are not aware of, maybe they have never seen anyone with a disability, but, but it's true because by the time I was growing, I never saw anyone in our village who had, who had disabilities or maybe cerebral palsy. But when I was growing up, I happened to know a girl, but for her, she had albinism. So I, I was the only one with this condition for a very long time. So my mom done her best. She used to take me to better peace. She used to take me to, because now, you know, she was not aware of such a condition. She was, she was not even aware of uh, disability itself. So I grew up well. She used to take me to the therapist. And uh, when, when the age came for me to join school, she just took me to a regular school, in quotes, a normal school. She didn't take me to to a special school. Why? Because she didn't know that they exist. So I happened to just go to a normal school where my little brother was also going. So um, when I was, she, she had some friends. So a friend of her just approached her and asked her about me. That's when she told her about special schools. She explains the need to have inclusive schools to help children with disabilities boost their confidence, independence, and academic morale. I think I could, I could be a very different person, you know, even academically, when, when, we, um, inter when, we, when we go to those integrated schools, you know, you will, utter, you will have that morale to, 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 to learn. To, to learn and put more effort in your academic because you will see, oh, I, I am competing with these other people. We are not only people with disabilities here. So you tend to, when you just interact with people with disabilities, you tend to relax a bit. You don't want to, to push. You don't want to put more effort in our location because maybe you see uh, everything will be done on my behalf. I was, as I was growing up, I, I used to, to play, interact with other kids, so I could not even notice that I had a disability because we used to play together, we do many things together. If it is going to look to fetch firewood, we, are, we could go together. If we were going to look after the cows, we were together, going to the shop, we were together. So I didn't feel any, maybe, discrimination from the, the, the childhood friends that I had. In the 
nós ali as coisas, e eles estão tu tu dai que na book minha já me mal isso tu go out de livre que we could do things on the ground só só com tanga you do your fingers you do this and that so that is when i did and say why can't they do like they are doing as it is a desire for most women to become mothers it was not different for Josephine as she shares her journey into motherhood i'm also a woman despite the condition so I, it was my desire since I was young to have my own child, to just spend time with them and such. So God had my prayer and he gave me a son. But the journey to motherhood was not that easy. Yes, my, um, my pregnancy journey was, oh, well, I think God favored me. I w- didn't have complications. It was, however, the rejection from two hospitals during labor that made things difficult for her, as she emotionally explains. The last moment came when I was in labor. We took the cab to the hospital whereby I was going for my clinic, but I don't know what happened to them. That day, I think we, we got there at around then, then, then that. And upon arrival, you know, there was some, some cars they needed, which by then was not available, but we, it was to be paid in the morning. Uh, no, but they could not agree with us on that. So they told us we cannot admit you. So we got back to the cab drove to another hospital, a, a different one. So upon arrival, we found this female, I, I don't know if it's a nurse or a doctor, whatever, but upon arrival, just upon seeing me, you know, she didn't want to even get to, to, to hear a word from me. So she just came and she, when she just saw me, what did she, she, she said? She just, after seeing me, she said, oh, we don't have such a people, so you, you can't want it. Luckily, she was accepted at Kenyatta National Hospital, where she delivered and was even offered a room to stay with her caregiver. We went to Kenyatta National Hospital, whereby they received me very well, and they even gave me a, a private wing. Whereby I stayed there with my mom for the whole week. Yeah, and the, uh, I just delivered well. It was normal delivery because the doctor could not think that maybe I was in a position to push because, you know, it was a bit, I was a bit tired and everything. So they uh, so requested if I would like to go for a CS, but I told them, no, I feel strong enough. I could just push. Then I went ahead and I just pushed. I was not induced of anything. I just pushed and delivered an amount delivery. According to Josephine, her son is fully aware of her condition and is fully supportive. When God gives us these kids, I think that is that special ability that God insists in them to maybe just understand us. As you know, for me, uh, I don't use my hands, I use my feet. And he's very okay with that. He only says, Mom, do this and this for me. He can, he can even tell other people, Oh, me, it's like, oh, if I do me, I can do much. The level of his understanding tells me is on another level. She urges the society to change their attitude and allow persons with disabilities to live to their full potential and encourage parents and caregivers to be proud of their children. The huge barrier is not with the parents. The barrier is with the society. They are the ones who create these barriers to an extent of a parent to feel that uh, they feel low they feel rejected, isolated, so they end up being ashamed of taking their kids out or even taking their kids to school. 
that's because of the fear of what people will, will, will be, the, the stones that the society will be throwing at them. No, not that they hate their people. People tend to think that if you have a disability, if you have a disability, you are asexual. You don't have feelings. You are just there and you come and look at the streamer and you don't know how they they view us. <laughs> Even some parents discourage you from having your own family. I don't know why they they tell you home, oh, can you just adopt a kid? But why should they adopt and you have the ability to give birth? Her journey to job search has been faced with challenges as a person with disability. Looking for a job as a person with a disability is also a job on its own. Because you see, as I, I don't know, not everyone who knows about disability, I, I, let me assume, I don't know if it is true, if they don't know it's out of their ignorance or maybe their perception from the society, what they think about disability. Because if you are looking for a job, yes, you must qualify and go have that interview and everything. But you, you see, when you, send, when you submit your CV online, you, it, it, the CV cannot describe that, or it cannot show this is from a person who has a disability. And if it shows, it cannot have like a short video clip of yourself. She calls upon the government to include persons with cerebral palsy to represent themselves since they understand their issues better. As you know, we have different types of disabilities and cerebral palsy is one of the disabilities that is not, that is not well speak, spoken about out there. I would just call upon our president if we can have um, a representative of a caregiver of a person with, a, with cerebral palsy or just a person who has cerebral palsy themselves, representing themselves because we are the ones who, who knows ourselves better and no, no one out there who can hire our views better than we can do it ourselves. Let's take a look at the UN Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. Article 25 of the UN Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities states that state parties shall, Part B, provide those health services needed by persons with disabilities, specifically because of their disabilities, including early identification and intervention as appropriate and services designed to minimize and prevent further disabilities, including among children and older persons. And here is the tip for the day. There is beauty in diversity. So given that in, instead of maybe telling this kid um, or putting them away, they should give them the opportunity just to be them. They are them and, and that is not something that they will change. They, they are here to stay. So let's just embrace and love each other the way they the way the way one is created and to the parents don't be ashamed not uh, don't even worry what people tell you about the, your kid or what they tell you about yourself having that kid keep pushing keep going and just focus on your child we hope you've been inspired by the stories shared the perspectives explored and the powerful impact of inclusivity Let's meet again when time and space allows. My name is Jane Theory. Goodbye. We are here and we are strong. Let's be counted as we move on. Make a difference, change lives. As we tell our different stories, we are capable. Beautiful, we are born to do great things We're unstoppable, incredible Cause we're differently abled Differently